we talk about, oh, look, look how great he can throw off, off platform and stuff like that, right? Yeah, you can throw off platform, but when you really need one, yeah. when you got a chance to win the game, because guess what? If you, whenever play continues, it's a chance for a teammate to get hurt. Right, so like when you can walk off and say, "Okay, here, Griffin, bam, here's the ball, touchdown, we out of here." You save your teammates, you save yourself, you you take people out of risk. So you know, I want him to go back to the fundamentals. Make sure you always have your base. We understand at times you're going to have to throw off platform, but let's not make that the main state. Let's make that something when it's no, when, it, when it's the last possible thing that you can do. Let's make sure we are, we're underneath for ourselves and we can deliver a good football so that our playmakers continue to make plays. You're putting them in bad positions because you're not hitting them in stride. You know, you talk about throwing the ball behind right. Crowder a Crowder couple times. That, That's yeah. about accuracy. And let's throw a good ball so your team can, your, your, play, your, your uh, teammates can continue to make plays for you. Don't put it all on yourself. You shouldn't have to do the spectacular. You know, do the routine. The routine is how you win consistently in this game. The thing about this game in particular, this, this type of game he played remind me of his opener game, right? Where he was he was running out, he was doing the twisty derbies, and he, he was trying to sling it downfield, and he wasn't connecting, and he was throwing picks. He just happened to get away with it today. And Bart, you kind of said it earlier, but while we was off air, you you can't live and die by the sword because you don't have enough talent around you. You already were seeing guys get nicked left and right. We're rolling into week five. He has to be more efficient with the football, and you want to, to lean on the run game. If you're Mike, if you're Lafleur right now too, one congratulations on the win. But you got to get if if he's that great, good off of the run, then you got to get him moving. Start playing to his attributes, so he's not making those big throws. But those are more designed. Yeah. So it, you, him sitting in the pocket and trying to throw for him well, if that's not who he is right now, to get him moving where he can feel comfortable, where he can see the whole field. But I'm with Bart. He's going to go on the road against a good defense and it's going to be ugly and then we're going to be talking about the same. He's not ready for it. So we got to do, we just got to be careful that we don't, we're not falling for the hokey dope. Yeah, we talked about we wanted to see progress from him and I think we did see that because this offense is based off time and we talked about that in the pregame show and the thing that I liked about it, he came out and tried to make some time with those. That one interception to Corey Davis is I had a coach that used to say, Get you some shoes to work. That's not oh, on yeah. Zach Wilson. <laughs> if Corey Davis, you know, makes the cut, that's probably a pitch and catch right there. But I like some of his on-time throws. You talk about the biggest throw of the game to me was in overtime, the corner route to Keelan Cole on yeah. third and two. Like, that's a big-time throw. Not a lot of quarterbacks in the NFL are making that, though, especially on third and two. That's that's a perfect-time route. As soon as Keelan came out the break, when he threw the ball in the air, I was like, no, what are you doing? But he perfectly dropped it into Keelan Cole in the corner route. First down, Jets. They kept continued to move the ball down the field. Couple third downs, he threw a couple out routes to, to Jamison Crowder. That's what I like to see him do because that's what he did at BYU. But it all comes down to trust factor. It all comes down to execution. And, and Bart talked about it on the touchdown throw to, to Jamison Crowder. He had him open. He actually threw that ball a late and a little bit behind him. So if that's a better corner, that could potentially be a, a pick. So you just want to see him progress. There's, there's certain times in third down he looked really good. And there's other times on third down like the bootleg. You have to understand your team's probably going to go for it on fourth and one. Throw the ball away. You cannot take a sack right there. That's the one thing you can't do. That's a cardinal sin. And then also he could have ended the game during the regular oh, yeah. uh, during regular time yep. with the, yep. the out route to Corey Davis. That's all about timing and just having the confidence to throw that pass and get the ball where it needs to go.